Hey guys, I'm here with my dog, Nala. And today I'm going to show you guys how to give your dog a mini groom. So basically a mini groom um, includes trimming up around the face, the paw and paw pads, and the sanitary areas. It will save you a ton of money if you learn how to do this because mini grooms can cost from $35 to about $55 depending on the size of your dog. Plus it's a good way that um, you can bond with your dog. So I'm going to show you what you will need. I like to use this um, trimmer and it's by Oster. I got it at Walmart. Oster Calm Trims. It says it has a quiet motor for calm grooming for face, paws, and sensitive areas. That's what I use for her paws and for sanitary areas. You will need cotton rounds. This is just to clean up around the eyes, especially if your dog is prone to tear staining. I use these wipes. Um, puppy wipes for the body. And this is only if you're not gonna give them a bath after um, the groom. I usually like to give her a bath right after I do the mini groom. You're also going to be needing shears, different styles. I have the curved thinning shears and I have the safety tip for the face and around the eyes. Also, brush, different types of brush, whatever brush your dog prefers, and a fine tooth comb to clean up the face. Also, if you're not going to be giving your dog a bath after the groom, you can do the no rinse waterless shampoo. It's the first time I'm trying this to see how I like it. It's um, liquid, foamy, so you're supposed to just apply a little bit in your hands and massage it through their dry coat. So I'm gonna try this. So let's get started. First thing you need to do always, it's brush your dog. Make sure your dog has no mats or tangles. Next, I'm going to wipe her. Once you're done brushing the entire dog, I like to start with the paw pads. I like to start with the rear um, leg, and I'm gonna go in and start trimming all of the hair that gets um, stuck or grown in between the paw pads. You can see how much hair she's got. So all I'm going to do is start trimming. You can see how much hair came out. Now I can see her in between her paw pads is nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and round her paws. You just cut the hair around it to shape it. I like the rounded paws. So all I'm doing is cutting the hair that sticks up. And once you turn the paw around, you'll be left with a nice rounded paw. I know a lot of you um, were asking me how I keep her so calm for the grooming. And what I like to do, give her a nice long walk right before we start the grooming. Then I give her lots of water so she can be refreshed. And what the walk does is um, calms her down and she releases all her stress and energy. 
so she's nice and tired for the grooming because she is pretty hyper on a daily basis but she's gotten used to the grooming so this is what the rear paw looks like nice and rounded you can see the difference in between um, the one that I didn't do and the one that I just did big difference so you just shape around the paw I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the touch-ups and go right along to the other paw Both rear paws rounded. And now I'm gonna move in um, and do the front paws. She does not allow me to use the trimmer or on her front paws. So what I have to do is usually just trim it using the scissors. She gets freaked out, I don't know why. She doesn't like it. So if your dog is like mine, you can just use the, the scissors or if you don't have the trimmer, I'm going to show you how to just go and um, cut the, the hair in between the paw pads using the scissors. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. there it is front paw um, trimmed before and after I'm gonna show them your paw the other one same thing using the scissors what I do is I just cut the hair that's in between the paw pads she grows a lot of hair in there So both paws are trimmed. So now I'm going to work on her sanitary areas. Um, you can wipe it before. I wiped her already. And then I'm going to brush it to make sure that I don't trim the um, hairs of her tail just to see what I'm dealing with here. I like to stress the importance of not touching the skin, just the hair, trimming the hair. I'm gonna go around. What it looks like you can um, trim a little bit of the hair around it if you need to or the tail nice and clean I'm gonna do her belly her stomach underbelly however you call this area right here and I'm also going to use the trimmer. She doesn't really like it either. Now I'm gonna work on the face. First thing you need to do is brush the face. You can use the cotton rounds. This is a tear stain remover pads. I use a very fine tooth comb. 
to brush the hair around the eye area very carefully. Remove any debris that's stuck around their eyes. And then using the safety tip shears. Just cut the hair that is on um, blocking their view. Trim the other side, same thing. And use the thinning shears to get rid of any lines. So once you did all of that, it, you're pretty much done. Um, then you can go in with a no rinse waterless shampoo. This is a natural plant based cleansing, no residue lavender chamomile. It says calming formula by um, Wall. I'm just gonna do one pump. Smells pretty good. So you just apply it liberally to the dog. Massage the dog. You love that, don't you? And then it says to massage into hair for a deeper cleaning. To remove dirt and debris, use a towel or brush. Air dry, no rinse necessary. So now I'll go in with the brush. You smell really good. That's it everyone. Say bye. Bye. And this is what she looks like after her grooming. Thanks for watching. Bye.